Hi, I'm Eric with LockTalk Security, and in this video, we'll be discussing how to use the CapXL call box. The CapXL is equipped with a 10-inch touchscreen display that you'll use to input an entry code and to search the user directory. Let's start with how to use your PIN code to operate the call box. Start by pressing the entry code, or PIN button, located at the bottom right of the screen. Input your assigned PIN code followed by the enter button. If you put the code in correctly, your device should open and you may hear a click from the call box followed by an access granted screen. If you put the code in incorrectly, you'll see an access denied screen. If you put in the correct code, then contact your system administrator. Let them know the time and the day the failure occurred to help them find when the failure occurred. Next, we will look at presenting a fob to the reader. Present the fob to the reader by holding it about one inch away from the reader. The reader will turn green if successful access is granted. If your fob fails to grant access, then the reader will either flash green or yellow briefly. Try a few more times to ensure that the reader was able to read the fob correctly. If you're still not able to gain access, then contact your system administrator. Let them know the time and the day the failure occurred so that they can locate the reason for the failure. Finally, we'll look at how your guests can utilize the call box. Start by having them press the phone call button if it is green. Press the find a name button. You may search by the name by pressing touch here to search. You'll notice as you start inputting the first or last name of the person you're looking for that the directory will start to filter down. Once you've found the person you would like to contact, press on their name. This will initiate a call with the person's programmed number. It's important that you inquire about the phone number your call box is calling from so that you can recognize the call. After answering your phone, you'll be able to speak with the person at the call box and then allow them entry. Thank you for viewing our video on how to use the CapXL call box today. You may view additional content like this at support.lockdoc.net.